Hey everybody, hope you guys are all healthy and safe. So I have here the Huawei Mate X2 and after holding this phone for about five, six minutes, yeah, I'm completely blown away. This hardware is indeed the best hardware I've seen in a foldable yet. Okay, so first things first, this is not a review unit from Huawei. They did not make it available to me. Instead, this is a retail unit from China on loan from my friend Simon of Trinity Electronics in Hong Kong. Anyway, let's take a look at the overall hardware and why I think the Huawei Mate X2 is the best foldable hardware I've seen yet. And keep in mind, I've been using the Galaxy Z Fold 2 for four months now. The reason why I like the hardware of this phone better is when the device is folded, look at the screen. It's a lot more wider than the Galaxy Z Fold 2. The Galaxy Z Fold 2, it feels pretty cool because you can hold it one hand easily, but a lot of apps, you actually look really weird because of how tall this aspect ratio is. This is a 25 by nine aspect ratio, whereas on the Mate X2, you have a 21 by nine aspect ratio. Now this is still a little bit long, but it's more natural. It's closer to a regular smartphone than this screen here. This screen, if you're typing on this, it is still slightly cramped. Now the second important part is the Mate X2 actually folds flatter than the Z Fold 2. It's actually a thinner device too. So I'm gonna stack them on top of each other. So you see that the Z Fold 2's hinge actually leaves a little bit of a gap right here still and doesn't fold completely flat, whereas the Mate X2 folds completely flat, and the Mate X2 is a little bit thinner. Of course, the screen is also larger when you unfold the devices. So when you unfold, you have an eight inch display here. It's a 90 Hertz panel. So the Fold 2 one ups it here because it's a 120 Hertz panel on the inside, but 90 Hertz actually looks smooth enough to me already. Of course, I'll take 120 if I can, but 90 Hertz is more than fine enough. So the Huawei Mate X2 has a larger display without any interruptions. That's because there is no selfie camera inside the phone, whereas on the Fold 2, you do have a hole punch for selfie camera. Now, whether or not this is a good thing depends on you. If you're someone who takes a lot of selfies, maybe you prefer to have a secondary selfie camera here. But for me, I don't really take selfies much. I don't have the face for selfies, so I actually rather to have an uninterrupted tablet screen. Now, because this is such a larger display, everything just looks a little bit more immersive on it, including Instagram. You guys know how much I like scrolling through Instagram on a tablet size screen, right? Like for example, shout out to my friend Ben right here. But yeah, this is an Instagram story. Doesn't it look a little bit more immersive when it spans the entire display? On the Mate X2, it looks even more immersive because you have a larger display. Speaking of display when it's unfolded, the Mate X2 also doesn't have as noticeable a crease. So you look at the Fold 2, if I move a little bit, you see the crease, right? Now the Mate X2, I'm gonna put it at the same angle. You see, you don't see so much of a crease, right? Hey, that's me, my girlfriend, and my friend Fred. But you see, there's not much of a crease no matter how I move it under the sun. Whereas the Fold 2, you do see a noticeable crease. Now, because the Mate X2 has a more natural aspect ratio, when you open two apps side by side in split screen mode, it actually fills up a little bit more naturally than on the Z Fold 2. You notice the Z Fold 2, there's a little bit of letter boxing at the top when you run two apps side by side. That's because of the aspect ratio of this 7.2 inch display. Whereas on the Mate X2, when you open two apps side by side, it actually fills up the screen. So multitasking on the Mate X2 is relatively easy to do. Say you open one app, you just have to swipe from the side and hold then you'll get this little pull over menu right here. And from here, just tap another app. If you just tap on it, it'll open the app in a floating window. But if you long press the app, hold it, and then you bring it here, then it will go into split screen mode. And then now I have two apps at the same time. I haven't taken any photos with this phone yet, so that's why the gallery is empty. But speaking of cameras, this is another area where the Huawei Mate X2 has one up to the Galaxy Z Fold 2. You see this camera system here? It has a periscope zoom lens right here. And it's not just a weak periscope zoom lens, this is a 10 times optical zoom lens. So the same one used in the Huawei Mate 40 Pro Plus and the Huawei P40 Pro Plus. So this is pretty amazing, the fact that Huawei crammed a periscope zoom lens into a device that is this thin. Now the Galaxy Z Fold 2 has a pretty good camera system, but it's definitely not Samsung's best, even going by the standards when this phone came out last year. This camera system is not as good as what was seen in the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. It does not have the 108 megapixel camera, and it does not have a periscope zoom lens. So you're just getting a standard telephoto zoom lens here, whereas 
With the Mate X2, you get legit zoom. In fact, let's test it out right now. So we're gonna do a one times photo and we'll go 10 times. So this is 10 times lossless zoom. You can always see this is a really sharp 10x zoom. Let's go up to 30x. So 30x still looks really sharp. And go up to 100x. Okay, then now I have the Galaxy Z Fold 2 here. I'm gonna take the exact same shot. So 1x, 10x, and then we'll go maximum. It only maxes out at 10x for photos actually because this is a pretty weak telephoto zoom lens. So you see that this periscope zoom lens has relatively good um, optical image stabilization. You see right now I'm at 10 times. I'm gonna hold the phone just with one hand and it's still pretty stable. Probably not as stable as what the S21 Ultra can do, but it's pretty good. I'm at 33 times zoom now, completely holding the phone with one hand. Oh, impressive. Okay, so as for selfies, like I mentioned, there is no selfie camera inside the folded display. There's only one on the outside. So to take selfies, you either just take it like in this folded form or you can unfold the phone tap on the selfie camera and then you have to flip the phone over and then right here now you can use this main camera system for selfies. So this is gonna give you high quality selfies, although this is a little bit awkward to do. You have to unfold the phone, tap a button and bring it back. But now in theory, you should be able to get 10 times zoom with selfies, which is crazy. Yeah. Okay, yeah, nobody wants to take 10 times zoom. Oh shit, yeah, nobody wants to take 10 times zoom photos on my face like that but you do get the system. That means you can vlog with this camera pretty easily too, because now you can just vlog with this camera, switch to ultra wide angle camera. And now you can record a vlog with this main camera system pointing at yourself. So yeah, like I said, the Huawei Mate X2 is the best foldable hardware I've seen yet. But of course the elephant in the room is that the Mate X2 like the last three, four, five Huawei phones cannot run Google apps out of the box because of the US government sanctions. Now, good news for those of you who are into messing with your phones is that you can sideload Google on this phone via this unofficial hack. It's basically the same method that people have been using to put Google services on the Mate 40 and the P40 before that. So it's not something I can recommend for everybody. And in fact, if you have a Google account that's tied to very important stuff, then I wouldn't suggest doing this but maybe you can set up the Google and then use a burner Google account, meaning just make up a secondary Google account that's not that important to you and use that Google account to run YouTube, Google Maps, all that. So for people who really wanna use that phone, that might be an option worth considering. I'm pretty sure in a couple of weeks, there will be YouTube videos or maybe on XDA, there will be tutorials on how to install Google on this phone. It's quite complicated. It's gonna take like 10, 15 minutes of setting up the phone, but it is doable. That's what the word on the street is from Simon. So anyway, that's about it for this first look at the Huawei Mate X2. Man, I can't wait to have one for myself. Right now, this phone, it's completely sold out everywhere. In fact, I have to return this to Simon soon because some guy is gonna come buy it from him for 4,000 US dollars. It's a markup over the retail price. People in Hong Kong and East Asia are crazy when it comes to spending. So this phone is in such high demand that people are willing to pay $1,000 to $1,500 above market value price. I'm not gonna pay that. I'm gonna wait until the phone price drop closer to retail price, then I'm gonna buy one for myself. Um, so yeah, that's about it for this first look. Thank you again to Simon of Trinity Electronics for loaning me this device. I am super, super impressed. This is the best damn foldable hardware ever. Now to be fair, the Z Fold 2 is like five, six months old now. So that means when the Z Fold 3 come out in five months, four months, it might actually match this in terms of hardware. Maybe Samsung will be able to put a periscope zoom lens in there. Maybe Samsung will make the fold a little bit flatter. As of right now, if we compare these two phones hardware, no contest. This is a better hardware all around. So anyway, that's it for this video. If you're interested in keeping up to date with more content, Please subscribe to my channel or follow me on Instagram at Ben's Gadget Reviews. I have a lot more stuff coming up, including I have a full review of the Oppo Find X3 Pro, the Redmi Note 10 Pro, and a bunch of other devices too. And hopefully when I get my hand on this for longer term, I'm gonna do a full review too. So thanks for watching.